So welcome back to Spray Love and today I'm going to talk about my first ever fragrance love Maison Margiela Jazz Club um, This fragrance has gotten me into the fragrance journey that I have uh, pursued ever since um, I think the first fragrance I really liked that I smelled was a uh, Givenchy pie and I never did a video about that one and it's because I have never smelled it, smelled it since uh, which is quite embarrassing I should at least try it again um, when I really liked it I remember back then but it was like a long 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 time ago this one, the, this is the real first fragrance that I actually bought, and I am not going to uh, uh, do some uh, emphasis on that superb uh, toilet paper hanger, just just there, and uh, yes, it's fun to just have those toilet papers in your living room. It's you never know. wanted to smell a bit more of that masterpiece oh. amazing the first time I bought it I actually returned it back to the store after a few months very near the deadline for returning it back to the store because I was spraying a lot too, like too much at the time. I was spraying like maybe ten sprays and things like that. I was experimenting, you know. It's the beginning, um, but I know that some reviewers out there would be like, "No, no, ten sprays is enough." But anyway, uh, it was too much for me, and I actually thought for a while that uh, it didn't fit me, even though I liked the smell so much. So I returned it. But I bought it back uh, with like a few few moments later, and I rebought it again. So this is to say that it's a fragrance that has been with me and that I wear a lot. Uh, I wear it like a lot, a lot. It is um, oftentimes considered a very good alternative to a Dolce Gabbana, the one. But uh, I think it projects a bit more than the one, although this is still an intimate fragrance. This is still what uh, some reviewers say, a date night fragrance, because it is a close encounter fragrance, uh, for the most part. When I was spring 10, it wasn't a close encounter fragrance at all, but um, I've, like... It is, it is somewhat like a, it is somewhat close projecting, it's a vanilla centric fragrance. Uh, the vanilla note actually stays for like 24 hours. It's like very, very, very long lasting. Compared to Go Dolce Gabbana, the one, um, Dolce Gabbana, the one doesn't last that long. Uh, there's the Eau de Parfum version that actually lasts a bit longer, but is not as uh, nice smelling as the original for me. Uh, so this one is kind of like a different a different take on that kind of a boozy uh, vanilla uh, fragrance. Uh, this one is supposed to be, it's described as being heady cocktails and cigars. Uh, is it? Heady cocktails and cigars. Definitely very boozy, which is really, really nice. I think if I could say like it would be rum for me, it's rum, you know like dark rum or uh, golden rum but very good a very good rum uh, that you could like that you drink straight with a bit of water like you appreciate the dark rum and um, cigars yes definitely like tobacco but very high quality tobacco uh, the vanilla and tobacco together is just like, it's amazing. I mean, it's it's a, it's a very nice combo, uh, even though some people will be like, 
why is it a nice combo i don't want to smell like tobacco tobacco smells actually very good and cigars actually taste very good too we're used to like the cigarettes like smelling and tasting very bad but cigars uh very good cigars actually sm smell and taste very good even when burnt when consumed it's just the after smell that is a bit bad but this is not the after smell it's like the taste and the smell of a freshly lit cigar that is amazing for real so it's mm, it's it's so good and there's there's an actual note that i i i smell it very clearly uh most people won't but I think I spelled it that clearly because it's one of my favorite notes ever. It is Neroli. It gives off like a very kind of soapy and very bright, elegant uh, and uh, citrus, citrusy uh, smell to the whole thing, which is very nice because it is a very dark fragrance. You know, it's like rum and vanilla and tobacco all together it's very dense it's very dark but then there's this uh this these top notes that are like i don't know some flowers neroli and uh it's it really gives it it like it gives this fragrance a punch and an effervescence that dolce gabbana the one doesn't really have Dolce & Gabbana, the one, is a lot more tame on, and a more, like, bass-centric. This one is bass-centric uh, all the way, but it still has that brightness, that uh, soapy tone, that citrusy vibe that is incredible. And it gives it, like, a effervescent style, something that is more explosive, uh, more youthful, perhaps, uh, more witty you know it's it's something that just uh gives off like it gives energy it gives that feeling that the the person that you're talking to is energetic and when you come close the vanilla makes it like someone who's energetic charismatic but also intimate and truthful and maybe authentic uh but that also likes to party because there's the rum there's the cigars but also who likes the good things in life the good rum you know the good cigars the good everything the neroli which is the royal note it's the note uh, associated with uh, louis uh, louis 14 he was like a ardent fan of neroli and orange blossom so the this one contains that kind of things so it has that royal appeal maybe like that royal royal like uh French royal appeal, aristocratic, but also very the basic jazz thing, you know. So it, I, I like when something is like as elegant as it is dirty, you know. It has that those two polar opposites that kind of make it all more interesting. The party, the good things in life, but also the the jazz, you know. The it's jazz club, you know. You're in a jazz club. You're maybe a pianist. You you like the uh, like the sophisticated things, but you're also like maybe maybe poor, maybe miserable, maybe whatever. And you like also the dirty things about life. The the best like some some of the best things in life are quite like base and and dirty, but also some of the good things are very elegant and sophisticated. It's it's the kind of fragrance that it's it's my opposition of elevating the mind but still being fully into the your carnality in your body. I'm going way too far with all this, but I mean this this is what it inspires me and uh the vibe that it gives off is something that is like you're confident, you're think of that, that character uh Ryan Gosling plays in La La Land, you know, Sebastian, he's like, a, he's a pianist, he's like, self-assured, he's like, you, you're, I'm not interested in you even though he is, and whatever, but I don't mean to 
imitate that character, but you know it has that arrogance, self-assurance, uh, knowing the the tough parts of life, but also knowing the 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 sophisticated jazz things. Uh, I'm going way too far with all this. It's a great fragrance, uh, and it is wearable anytime. You can, I I like I've worn that in high heat summer. I've worn this in. Um, and the beach, I've worn this. It's all always nice. It's warm. It's intimate. It's it's uh, it's very sexy uh, all the time. Uh, is it a compliment getter? I have gotten a lot of compliments from that one. As I said at first, no. At first, people were like, "This is way too intense. What are you doing?" But when I actually got to to spray like more delicately with this one and this one is like a, a new bottle um, that I've gotten at the beginning of the pandemic I didn't wear well, I, I was not wearing that that much but I think I will give it a couple of wearings uh, in the next few weeks probably but this one is like it it's just the in-between you know it's not beast mode it's not whatever but w the fact that I spread it better made it like not beast mode but still pretty like a pretty good projection better than Dolce Gabbana the one in my opinion but I've gotten so many reactions oh yes uh, we know you Felix you always smell so good and uh, people that didn't know me that were like oh what what's that smell it smells so good it smells like rum and I, I actually I got a girl that that said like it smells like something smells like very good rum and I was like oh that's probably my fragrance you know uh, this is a I forget that I've got like I've gotten complimented a lot on it um, more than when I tried actually Dolce Gabbana the one because it doesn't project that much it doesn't grab the attention of it's like very like almost consent at first Dolce Gabbana the one whereas this one has kind of uh, somewhat a good projection. Some people will complain on the price for this one. Um, you're right, it's kind of overpriced, but it's it's so good. I mean, um, I don't worry about the price for that one personally, but I mean, someone could, uh, in that case, go and get uh, get yourself another warm fragrance like uh, La Nuit de l'Homme or Dolce Gabbana the one or whatever those kind of. Uh, uh, yeah, fragrances. Maybe another vanilla centric fragrance uh, would do the trick uh, instead of that one, like Dolce Cabana, the one. But uh, I don't. Uh, there's nothing that comes to my mind. But there's a yeah, a lot of uh, vanilla centric fragrances out there. You don't have to go for absolutely this one. Like I said, you can go for La Nuit de l'Homme also, which is like with the cardamom is really in impressive and still like really intimate and anyway what I mean to say about uh, like all of this is that Jazz Club it's Brooklyn 2013 precisely 2013 in a jazz club so you're yeah La La Land vibe you know heady cocktails and cigars it says it's a male fragrance uh, women out there try it out too it's uh it's like Dolce Gabbana the one um, and the vanilla centric fragrances and it, there's a lot of vanilla centric warm fragrances for women there's black opium out there by YSL maybe this could be a good alternative to black opium for some for some women with who think it's like a to a headache inducing uh, black opium well try replica jazz club it's uh, it's still a vanilla centric fragrance and it's gonna get you like to be very confident, self-assured. It's really nice for everyone out there who wants to try it. Uh, and it's Maison Margiela, Paris, <laughs> Paris. All right. So long for the French. Uh, I, I'm a French speaker, native French speaker, but I don't speak French here. Je ne parle pas français ici. Spread love. Pray love. Bye-bye.